Hey everyone, we are starting to look at dilations and scale factor. We are gonna answer the question, what is a dilation and a scale factor and how do I find a scale factor? So let's talk about scale factor first. It is a ratio, which just means a fraction, between corresponding parts of similar figures. So if you remember when we talked about similar figures, they are proportional. That's the ratio that we're talking about. It's called the scale factor. This ratio or scale factor can be found by dividing a corresponding new and original side length. So this is something really important that you'll hear over and over again. Scale factor equals new over original. Um, and you will see new figures are often denoted with something called a prime symbol. It's just this little apostrophe. That's how you know that'll go on top because it's the new one. All right, so a dilation is a transformation that produces the similar figure by multiplying by the scale factor. So to get a dilation, we will multiply by the scale factor. The new image is gonna have the same shape and congruent angles, but it will be smaller or larger based on that scale factor. And the new and original figures will have those proportional side lengths because they are similar. Okay, so there's two types of dilations. There is a reduction and there is an enlargement. So a reduction is where the scale factor is less than one and we get a smaller figure. And then an enlargement is when the scale factor is greater than one and we get a larger figure. So let's look at number one. It says find the scale factor that was used to dilate figure one to create figure two. So first thing we want to do is label our original and new figures. It tells us that figure one was dilated to create figure two. So figure one is the original one, figure two is the new one. And it wants us to find the scale factor. Remember up here, scale factor is new divided by original. So that's what we're gonna do to find the scale factor. We will do the new over the original and they have to be corresponding parts. They've only given us two side lengths here so we know they're corresponding. The new side length is eight. The original one is four and eight divided by four simplifies to two. So our scale factor is two. And then they are wondering, is this an enlargement or a reduction? Well, we can see that we got bigger and our scale factor was greater than one. So this is an enlargement. All right, number two, it says, find the scale factor that was used to dilate circle Y to circle X to create circle Y. So circle X was the original one, circle Y was the new one. And I need to find the scale factor by doing new over original. So they didn't give us side lengths this time, but they did give us corresponding parts, the radius. The new radius was 1.5 and the original radius was two. Pull up the calculator. Okay, so the new radius was 1.5, the original radius was two. So let's just simplify that in the calculator. 1.5 over two is 0.75 scale factor. We usually write it as a fraction, three fourths. So the scale factor is 0.75 or three fourths. That is less than one, so this is gonna be a reduction. We can also see that we got smaller from circle X to create circle Y. All right, number three, it says, find the scale factor that was used in the dilation below. Um, I can tell that this smaller one is my new figure because it has those prime symbols on it. So that's how I know that that's the new one even though they didn't tell me this time. So this one's the original because it doesn't have the prime symbols. So to find the scale factor, I'm still gonna do new over original. I have to make sure I use corresponding parts this time. So. If I use 4.8, it corresponds on this shape with 12. I have to use parts that go together. So to find the scale factor, I'll do 4.8 over 12. Let's simplify that. We get 0 0.4 and as a fraction that is 2 fifths. So scale factor here is 2 fifths. That is less than one and I can see that we got smaller so that's a reduction. 
Okay, next one it says find the scale factor that was used to dilate square A, B, C, D to create square A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime. So we know this is original, this is the new one because of the prime symbols. To find scale factor, I do new over original. So I'm gonna do nine over six and just simplify that in the calculator. Simplifies to three halves. So scale factor is three halves, and this was bigger than one, and we can see that the shape got bigger, so this is an enlargement. Okay, let's look at number five. It says figure A is dilated by a scale factor of three. What are the dimensions of the new figure? So at the beginning, we talked about how a dilation is produced by multiplying by the scale factor. So this time they gave us the scale factor. So since they gave us the scale factor, I'm going to multiply my side lengths by that scale factor of three, and that will tell me the new side lengths. So seven times three is 21, and 3.5 times three is 10.5. So the new dimensions are 21 feet, by 10.5 feet. And remember our scale factor was three and three is greater than one and we can tell that these side lengths got bigger so this one is an enlargement. Okay, number six, it says figure B is dilated by a scale factor of one half. What are the dimensions of the new figure? So they gave us the scale factor. That means I'm going to multiply by the scale factor to find my new side lengths. And four times one half is two and five times one half is 2.5. So our new dimensions are two inches by 2.5 inches. And you can tell we got smaller and our scale factor of one half was less than one. So this is a reduction. 